contest. We are here on a mission. Stop the engine! Stop! There's no time! It's time for you to take us to the stars. What do you take me for? I'm a rocket scientist. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the rocket science and rocket engines which were shown in the Rocketry, the Numbi Effect movie, which is based on the life of a scientist and an aerospace engineer, Numbi Narayan. So, in the start of the movie, Mars Orbiter mission, also called Mangalyaan, was shown, which is a space probe orbiting Mars. It was launched on 5 November 2013 by ISRO. It is India's first interplanetary mission and it made it the fourth space agency to achieve Mars orbit after Roscosmos, NASA and ESA. It made India the first Asian nation to reach Martian orbit and the first nation in the world to do so on its maiden attempt. The Mars Orbiter mission probe lifted off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Using a PSLV rocket C25 on November 5, 2013. After a 298 day transit to Mars, it was put into Mars orbit on 24 September 2014. Then we see some experiment being tested by Dr. Abdul Kalam at Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, which is a Indian spaceport established on 21 November 1963, operated by ISRO. It is located in Thumba Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala, which is near the southern tip of mainland India, very close to Earth's magnetic equator. Now, the most interesting part which gave us Gosepam or terrified was the KVD-1 engine with 461 impulse. KVD-1 was an upper stage LOX LH cryogenic engine developed by ICAF Design Bureau of Russia in the early 1960s. It is a modified version of the RD-56 developed for a never completed cryogenic upper stage of the N1 Super Heavy lift rocket with the goal of enabling crewed lunar missions by the USSR. The cavity one produces a thrust of 7.5 tons. Then the yes, I will tell you, you will die. What does that mean? If I tell you, you will die and I will die. <laughs> The technology in which Nambi Narayan was interested to develop was liquid fuel propulsion. It is a technology by which the rocket can fly with liquid fuel and produce more torque. Liquid systems enable higher specific impulse than solid and hybrid rocket motors and can provide very high tankage efficiency. Now, in the middle of the movie, when Nambi Narayan and his team were in Europe, we got to see the developmental and testing phase of Viking engine. The Viking rocket engines were members of a series of bipropellant engines for the first and second stages of Ariane 1 through Ariane 4 commercial launch vehicles using storable hypergolic propellants. Hypergolic means when two components ignite immediately when they come in contact with each other. The earliest versions developed in 1965 had a sea level thrust of about 190 kN. By 1971, the thrust had improved to 550. By 1971, the thrust had improved to 540 kN, with the resulting engine named Viking 1 and adopted for the Ariane program. The engine first flown on the Ariane 1 rocket in 1979 was Viking 2, with thrust further improved to 611 kN. After that, we see the final completion of Vikas engine. The Vikas is a family of liquid fueled rocket engines conceptualized and designed by the Liquid Propulsion System Center in the 1970s. The design was based on the licensed version of the Viking engine with chemical pressurization system. Early production Vikas engines 
used some imported French components which were later replaced by domestically produced equivalents. It is used in the PSLV and geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle GSLV series of expandable launch vehicles for space launch use. Engine uses of about 40 metric tons of UDMH as fuel and nitrogen tetroxide as oxidizer with a maximum thrust of 7 to 5 kN. An upgraded version of the engine has a chamber pressure of 58.5 bar as compared to 52.5 bar in the older version and produces a thrust of 800 kN. Engine is capable of gimballing. We also saw how India struggled to develop their first cryogenic engines. A cryogenic rocket engine is a rocket engine that uses a cryogenic fuel and oxidizer. That is, both its fuel and oxidizer are gases which have been liquefied and are stored at very low temperatures. So these were all the rocket engines that we got to see in the movie. Though the movie was a lot more than just rocket engine. If you haven't yet watched the movie, we recommend you to definitely watch it and do tell us in the comment section which movie science you want us to decode next.